Hey, how's it going guys? This is 1FO here. Today I'm going to be showing you an amazing Roblox Murder Mystery 2 script GUI. So as you can see, here's the script right here. If you guys want the link, it's going to be in the description. And I don't think I've ever seen a GUI for this game that has this much stuff on it before. So if you guys want all those links, they're going to be in the description. And yeah. So if you want an executor that's going to be able to run this script, you could either use my free no-key executor called VegaX. There's also another script right here in the script hub, or you could join my three keys Synapse X giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away some Synapse X keys. All the links are going to be in the description for that. And yeah. So if you guys don't want to use Synapse X or Vega X, you could also use like whatever other exploit you have. Probably going to work with like Kernel or Omega X or something. But yeah. So I'm going to start over here on the visuals tab because I'm in the lobby right now. So as you can see right now, I'm just using all chams with ESP. So you could click this button to toggle it on and off. And if you guys didn't know, that lets you see people through walls. You could also change the opacity of the ESP. I like keeping it pretty low because it just doesn't block up too much of your screen. On the other tab over here on player, actually before that, you could see how many settings there are. You could even do gun ESP, tons of other stuff. You could even, you could see like the chats from people who are dead. Uh, but yeah, so pretty cool and now that I'm in a game I'm gonna come over here and as you can see there's a bunch of stuff over here So I could literally give myself God mode Which if I'm innocent is gonna make it impossible to die You could also auto farm. So this is basically gonna get you infinite levels I did this on my main account and I got to like level 150 or something in just a day or two So you could use this auto farm or you could come over here to the visuals tab, I mean the player tab, and do some stuff like this. So you could fly around the map, you could do your no clip, you could do control click TP to teleport. And as you guys could see, I know that that's the murderer. And that's pretty cool. I could just teleport behind her and run away. Just pretty fun to mess around with people like this. There's infinite jump, there's even some no clip stuff, so I could just go right through walls. Um, you guys could do shift run, so if you click shift, it's going to make you run. This one's pretty useful because you could just toggle it on and off really easily and yeah so another cool thing that's on here is the stuff that you can like do to kill the murderer and also like kill all so if this sheriff dies i'm gonna be able to show you you could just click this button right here where is it oops she's about to kill me let me get away from her don't kill me okay so if i come over here you could see grab gun Boom, I grab the gun, and then I click this key right here, shoot murderer, and then boom, we win. Um, okay, I don't really know what happened there. I think, <laughs> I think she hit me with the knife before the bot could even shoot her in the head. But yeah, so you get the idea of what that does. I don't know, that's probably really unlucky. But basically, if you click C, it's going to shoot the murderer, and you could change the setting to sharpshooter, which is going to hit a headshot. You could also do silent aim if you don't want to be too, like obvious that you're cheating you could just shoot and then that basically what silent aim does is it makes it so that like wherever you shoot even if it's not aimed at them it's going to hit a headshot so pretty cool stuff there you could also change the transparency of the entire gui so if you don't want it like blocking up your screen because this is a pretty big gui not gonna lie you could just see there's a bunch of stuff here uh you, if you could come over here you could see in the shop there's like some cases you could open and if you don't want to waste all your time opening them all, you could come over here and automatically unbox the items. And if you don't have enough coins, you could use this coin auto farm. And basically what that's going to do is like teleport you to all the coins in the map every time the game restarts. And if you're just trying to farm levels, I'd recommend you guys use this auto farm god mode along with the automatic shoot murderer. Because then whenever the sheriff dies, it's going to pick up the gun for you if you click this auto grab gun. So let me actually enable that. And if I get murdered this next round, I'm going to be able to show you guys the kill all. It's insanely OP because if I just click the K key on my keyboard, uh, it's just going to shoot knives at everyone at once and they're all going to die. If you don't want to be too obvious, you could also just use like silent aim or something. Okay, I guess I'm just innocent even with 15%. So that kind of sucks, but it doesn't matter. And we're pretty much just going to win no matter what. So if I click this over here... Let's see, where's the god mode? Um, here it is. So I just click god mode and now I can't die. So if I just come over here, I could just jump right in the murderer's face. Where is she? Here she is. So now as you guys could see, she can't hit me with the knife. And yeah, pretty OP. 
I'm just standing here right in front of the murderer. She can't do anything. <laughs> it's just pretty fun to mess around with people. But that's basically how you could just win every single round. And as you guys could probably tell, if I come over here, go to the options, and whatever exploit you're using, they probably have an anti-AFK script. So just check that box. And what that's going to do is make it so that Roblox doesn't kick you. And basically, really OP for auto farming because I could just leave this god mode on overnight with this auto farm god mode. And you could also do like the coin auto farm, the XP farm, a bunch of other stuff. And I think that's just pretty cool because as you guys could see from what I told you earlier in the video, I'm getting like 150 levels a day with this on my main account. And yeah, so pretty cool stuff. You could also give yourself free emotes. So right, right now you could just see I have like default emotes, but if I click this, boom, I have the ninja emote. I could do the, the weird seizure emote, that's like a glitched one. I could do headless. I don't really know how to delete this, but basically that's how it works. So free emotes, basically. Um, okay, so it teleported me to gun. This is a good way to show you. You click C and then boom. Wait, let me do it again. I don't know where the gun just went. Okay, that's kind of scary. I don't know where the gun is. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know where the gun went. That's pretty weird. I think it, I think it doesn't let me shoot people when I'm in god mode. So that's another downside to god mode. But if you guys are just trying to get levels, I'd recommend you keep god mode on because it's probably the best way to farm levels. But yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I could showcase except some basic stuff over here, like teleporting so I could teleport to the murderer. Or this is actually spectating so I click stop spectating and as you can see she still can't shoot me because I have this god mode enabled but yeah so I think that's all there is on this GUI there's also some more stuff you guys could check out but yeah so I hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you can and as always peace